Hello there, this is Glenn Berry with Dr. DMV LLC, and I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the BIOS flashback feature to update the BIOS on an ASUS ROG Strix B550F Gaming Wi-Fi 2 motherboard. This video is specifically for this motherboard, but the general procedure will work on any ASUS motherboard that has the BIOS flashback feature as long as you download the correct BIOS file for your exact motherboard and then rename the BIOS file to the name that the procedure expects for that motherboard model. Before we get started, I want to show the key steps to using this procedure. I'm not going to read every single step. You can pause it and read it yourself. But the important thing here is that you download the correct BIOS for your exact motherboard from the ASUS website, and then you rename it to the exact name that's needed for that motherboard. This is really important. This is the main reason this fails for a lot of people, because they don't follow those two steps. The first step in this procedure is to download the particular BIOS update file for your exact motherboard. And this is a critically important step because ASUS has many motherboard models that have similar names. So this video is for the ROG Strix B550F Gaming Wi-Fi 2 motherboard. And the link is right here at the top. And I'll have it in the description also. And if you're curious, you can expand the see all downloads to see all the different versions that have been released. And at the time of recording, this is the most current version that's available. So that's what I want to go ahead and download. So I'm going to download that. And that goes to my downloads folder and it's a very small file and it comes down very quickly. So the next step is to go in there and prepare the file for use. Here's what the file looks like after you download it. It's a small zip file. It's only about 20 megabytes and you need to just extract that zip file and then take a look at what's inside. So we'll go ahead and do that. And now it creates another folder. You can see inside of there, you have two files. One's a BIOS renamer. And then here's the actual BIOS file that we need. And this needs to be renamed to a specific name for this motherboard or else this procedure is not going to work. So the easiest thing to do is just double click on this executable. And then it's going to go in and automatically rename that BIOS file to this exact name. And it has to be this exact name for this motherboard or else this procedure won't work because the procedure is very literal minded. It's looking for a file name with this exact name in a specific location. So speaking of that, the next thing to do is you need to have a small USB, preferably USB 2 flash drive in your system. And what you need to do is copy this down to the root of that flash drive. Before I do that, I want to show you something else you need to check. Go into that flash drive and go into properties and then make sure that it's formatted in FAT32, not XFAT, not NTFS. It has to be FAT32. And again, if that's not the case, this won't work. So we've seen that that's a fine. So we're going to take this renamed file and copy it down to the root of this flash drive and it takes a couple of seconds you know depending how flash your fast your flash drive is and the reason i keep saying root if you've got any folders on that flash drive you don't want to put the file in one of your folders it has to be the at the root like you see here so that's and again this procedure is very very literal minded and if you do something that's not according to the exact instructions this is not going to work these are the official instructions from the motherboard manual on page 214. And one thing I want to point out here is step three, they talk about either manually renaming the file, as you see there, or using the BIOS renamer executable. I think the BIOS renamer is easier to use. And then at the bottom, there's a few things as far as troubleshooting. So if the light only flashes for five seconds and turns into a solid light, that means that it didn't work because you probably made a mistake preparing the USB drive. But I just wanted to show the official instructions. And to be honest, they're not that clear. And I think the way I'm going to show it in the video is much easier to follow. You have to plug in two cables on your motherboard, the 8-pin EPS connector right there in the center, and then the 32-pin main power connector from your power supply. The next step is to turn on the switch on your power supply if it has one. You also want to make sure the power supply is plugged into the wall or a UPS if you have one. 
That is the USB port that you want to plug in the USB drive. And that's the button you're going to push to actually start the BIOS flashing procedure. So you put in the USB drive that you prepared and then you hold down the button for three seconds. And after three seconds, you should see a green LED just to the left of that button start to flash. And I call it out right there. And I'm gonna show you another angle in a few seconds here so you can see the LED more clearly. But that is what's really important as this is running is whether or not that LED is flashing or not. And it's gonna flash for five to six minutes if the procedure is going correctly. So you can see right there the view on that. And if this only flashes for a few seconds and then stops, then you probably made a mistake preparing the USB drive. And if it needs to flash for five to six minutes and then stop, and that's how you know it's finished. Okay, here's some frequently asked questions that I get a lot in the comments section. So the first one is, can you do this with a fully assembled system? The answer is yes. But if you have a fully assembled system, don't turn on the system with your case power button like you normally do. Just follow the directions in the video because if the system is running like it normally would be and you press that button, nothing's gonna happen. And then the next question is, do you need to do this if you have a Ryzen 3000 series processor? And the answer is no, you don't. And depending on when your motherboard was manufactured, you might not have to do it even with a 5000 series processor. And if your system will already post, then it's a lot easier to use the regular ASUS Easy Flash 3 feature that's in the BIOS setup program. Uh, the next question is, is it safe to use a beta BIOS version for this? I think it is personally, but if you're nervous about it, then don't do it. And then the final question is, I tried it and it doesn't work. What do I do now? Well, put a, qu a question in the comments and explain what you did and whether or not you had a working system before, whether it would post before, what exact motherboard you have, what exact processor you have. The more details, the better. And I will usually answer most questions and try to help you. But if you just say, it didn't work, then I'm not going to be able to help you, to be honest. So that's the, the FAQ. This shows the complete BIOS flashing procedure that sped up tremendously. And while we're watching this for a few seconds, usually when this fails, what people have done is they've downloaded the BIOS flash file for a different motherboard, or they made some small mistake repairing the file. They didn't rename it properly, or they didn't put it in the root of the flash drive, or the flash drive wasn't formatted in FAT32. Those are the most common reasons that this doesn't work. And again, it's gonna take about five to six minutes to complete. This is Glenn Berry with Dr. DMV LLC, and I wanna thank you for watching this video. If you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. And finally, if you wanna see more content like this, please subscribe because that really helps the channel out. Really? You have a lot to say.